congratulations on you know the DJ Mustard situation. Thank you. Can can you go give me details on how that came about? Well, I uh, I met DJ Mustard about seven years ago uh, through a mutual uh, family member. Um, well, it's like his brother, but it's my blood cousin Remy. Um, <clears throat> And we, we was both not doing, I don't think we was, I know I was I was trying to manage niggas, I, I don't know what I was doing at that point, but um, he for sure wasn't in music, he was uh, just, just a DJ, like a local DJ and shit, mm -hmm. but um, we, we like got into it around the same time and he took a liking into what I, you know, or how, how, how I delivered my shit, but um, just at that time, there was, there was really nothing, and I went back home for a couple of years, and uh, he called me one time and was like, "Nigga, it's the, and this is like when he first this when like I think like shit was popping like for him, you know what I mean?" And he had called me out of the blue like, "I think I'm about to get a I'm about to get a label, you know what I'm saying? You're gonna be my first artist, woo woo, woo. And you gotta think I'm in Seattle, Washington. I ain't none of that shit applying to me. You know what I mean? I'm not even taking it serious like that. Um, and I moved down here. And I mean, I, no, I came and visit um, in 2013. And I mean, the, as soon as I seen him, he was like, "Let's get in the studio. I'm gonna come out with a mixtape." I did two songs for him, and we just kept that relationship like that until. Um, you know, there was an actual situation developed, right. and when that happened, it was on. Right. Now, uh, was it like a shocking experience for you? Because a lot of people say they're going to do a lot of stuff, and they never do it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I mean, and, and this, is, this is no, like, uh, like I, I'm not saying nothing towards him. It's just a general thing. Niggas talk, niggas say that. All. There's a fine line between what you'll want to do for some, you know, for somebody, you actually, and actually what you can do, so... Right. I just never depended on that idea, but um, w when it happened, I was all with it, right? Two hundred percent. Right now, uh, how often do you come, you know, from Seattle to LA? Uh, I try to at least go every every other month. Um, you know, all my family is still back home and shit, so I try to uh, I try to keep keep it frequent, especially with me being on the West Coast and. You know, not that busy to where I'm just like in another country type shit. So, um, right. yeah. Real Over the years, um, you know, DJ Mustard's success, you know, has has been crazy. Was that like a shocker? You know, because you knew him prior to success. Was that like a like what was your no, read? No, no, no. It really wasn't a shocker. I'm, I'm not. I'm not trying to downplay what he's done, but. Um, me just knowing him and what his what his initial plans was, you know, and uh, I, I believe in him so you know the same way he believed in me. So really no, because I, I he, he we both think um, very similar in the sense of you know, sky is not the limit, bro. Right. You know, we can right. do whatever. Right. So um, very uh, humbled by it and inspired by it though. You know, seeing somebody in, you know, a very similar position and, you know, having to start out in, in that novice beginner level to now you run, you know, you run wherever you at. So, um, yeah, I think those would be the choice of words if I had to. Right now, coming from Seattle, like, what's the, um, there's not many people who blew up from Seattle except like Macklemore or probably a few others. Mm -hmm. But, um, like, what's the culture like in Seattle? Um, the culture is, is, it, the this is how I, I feel about it. The culture is there is no culture. Um, it's welcoming to, you know, whatever. It's, it's, it's very liberal there. Um, it's not really a spot for niggas. I'm going to just be honest with that. I mean, you know, uh, growing up was a little different. It was a little more urban and we had a little bit more, um, a little bit more unity. But um, once gentrification came through, Seattle was really a... Uh, it's a it's a melted pot now, right. you know, and, and we're the urban side is totally, you, you right. know, it's very hard to recognize any of that when you go there. You you've been there before, right. so um, as far as culture goes, I, I I don't I don't really think that we have a 
it's so hard because we we were so left out of everything we feel like so we we don't urban wise anyway it, there's there's no real culture there for, you know do you think it's possible to blow up out of seattle without having to leave and go to la or go to atlanta and you know things of that nature um for hip hop no i, I don't i don't i no I don't, and and only only reason why, and someone can, cause the internet, you know, I mean, is is available, but it's hard because hip hop don't doesn't have any type of history there, you know, to say, um, okay, well he he did it like, I mean, who am I gonna get co-signed by, mm -hmm. Sir Mix a lot, you know, come come out of the Whitworths from thirty years, like yeah, I got this new cat, man, you know what I'm saying? It, it's just not. It's not ran like that there. Um, it's, it's definitely a place to be creative and to, uh, you know, to really express yourself artistically. But as far as making those next steps to get it to the world, I think you have to go to one of the main, you know, spots. Right. On the west, L.A., Atlanta, on the south, New York, in the east. I mean, I just don't see you avoiding those, those places. But they're very receptive to hip-hop now. Um, I will say that this is the most that I've seen people support. Uh, shows are always packed, even local shows. Um, so you know, anything is possible, man. Hopefully, I can bring some of, some of those questions to uh, you know uh, an end. Your situation? Are you, are you signed or was it you know just verbal? Um. Well, right now there's no there's no paperwork. But um, is it just I'm, you, or is it coalition of people, group of people? No, it's just me. Mm -hmm. And um, and I, I of course signed the Ten Summers, but um, I'm having a little bid war going on right now, which is you know a, a young rapper's dream. You know what I mean? Um, so I'm just taking my time with it and just focusing on what what got me here. Mm -hmm. You know. Uh, I haven't really put no rush on things, but definitely before the summer. Right now, Mustard, like when he announced it, he put it on Instagram and all that. Mm -hmm. um, like, what was the reaction from the people that didn't know you, and the people, and the reaction from people who 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 been to you, you know, years prior to that? Um, well, for the people that did know me, they used to want, you know, asking me for money and shit. You know what I mean? Cause I'm just fucking around. I think everybody was genuinely, and I, I don't know if this happens for. For everybody in that position, but everybody was was uh, genuinely happy for me, man. And the, and the love that I received let me know that it was real. I mean, obviously, seeing it and hearing it and being involved with it is one thing. And I had already been doing so much shit in L.A., but to get that 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 feedback from you know mm -hmm. your peers and just people who just seen you as a regular nigga who, who was just you know. Right. Taken back by by my next move, that was big for me. Right. People that didn't know me is still like, who? Why you pick him? Like, who the fuck is this nigga? You know what I mean? Which I personally like. I like that type of shit. I remember even you, mm -hmm. at, at, when you first seen me. You know what I'm saying? You wasn't you wasn't sold, and then I rapped, and then you. I see. I, as I rapped, I seen your reaction and how you felt about. What I do change. So I, I love environments like that. I, I love proving myself. Right. Um, so that that's never an issue. But if I had to say that's what it was like, mo most people was like, okay, I'm cool with it because they they heard me work with him before. But you know, right. There's still that side of who the fuck is this guy? Right, yeah. right now. Um, it's worth the choice, nigga. So. If you had to pick one artist from Seattle, you know, to put on with you. Um, as you continue to progress, yes, yes, what would that one artist be? Trying to spark some controversy. Not at all, shit, man. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. I... Cam the Mac. And, and what's so special about him? Uh, I mean, I just, I just like his flavor. He's a young nigga, and you know, he's a, uh, he's authentic with what he say, and you know, my little partner. Right. You know what I mean? I'm, it, he's the most ready out of the, you know. I mean, there's a lot of people I would love to be like, you, 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 let's go. And, um, you know, if, 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 
time and you know lord willing that everything works out i will be able to make those moves in the next few years but um you know this is no offense to none of those niggas right. it's all about choice right now